So what does this Vande Bharat sleeper train project entail from BEML's end and is there an order size that you can tell us about? Uh, you see this uh, Vande Bharat sleeper train, the most, the first and foremost thing is that uh, it means a lot of uh, pride uh, for us that we are associated with the first uh, sleeper train that is going to be rolled out. Mm. And uh, with the support from uh, ICF and with the blessings of Indian Railway, if all goes well, uh, within this financial year, we'll roll it out. Mm. And uh, we are putting our heart and soul into the manufacture of these trains. As far as the overall opportunity size is concerned, uh, you see in the public domain, already uh, Railway has uh, announced that they want to have 800 uh, train sets by 2030. It, it basically means a huge opportunity size for BML, uh, more than 150,000 crore uh, to be precise. And even if we have a 50% uh, uh, success rate, it means an opportunity size of at least 70, 75,000 crores for BML in the coming five to seven years. So it's a, it's a huge thing that is that has happened to uh, India, to the Indian railway, to the Indian uh, commuter experience. And we are really proud and very happy to be part of uh, this entire exercise. In what condition are you planning to supply the first prototype to ICF? And is there a timeline to when it's going to be out? January, February, March 2024? And not just that, but also are there more that are lined up? Uh, you see, uh, uh, presently we have an order of 10 train sets. Right. That is 160 cars. And uh, uh, the first proto that we are building as per the contract, it is May 2024, but uh, we are making all efforts to roll it out uh, by March 2024. There are a lot of challenges. We, we are overcoming these challenges with the help of uh, ICF. We, in fact, uh, both of us are working jointly and in uh, close uh, uh, cohesion with each other to make this project a success. We will supply the trains in the finished form. Okay. That is a complete train set in the finished form, painted and uh, ready to undergo trials. So okay. it will be a finished train from our side to ICF. Okay. And uh, what have been the, you know, what do you think will be the Make in India learnings for BEML and the industry as a whole of a project for this scale? As far as the Vande Bharat trains are concerned, it is uh, fully Make in India, fully made in India. And uh, what I can say is that BEML has been manufacturing not only the uh, mainline commuter trains, uh, the coaches for the Indian Railway, but since 2001, we are in the metro rolling stock manufacture as well. So the best thing for us was that we are able to transfer or translate our experience of the metro trains, the world-class metro trains and the best, best in class quality that we have given to the uh, urban mobility to the Vande Bharat sleeper. Okay. And uh, as far as the learning is concerned for us, it is mainly a scaling up from a standard gauge uh, metro train to a broad gauge, uh, you know, an EMU, mm -hmm. a distributed power controls uh, train, which will have a much better passenger experience. There is no locomotive. Uh, every stack of uh, four cars will have the propulsion or the driver, and it will be a very smooth uh, ride for the passenger. The internal uh, uh, furnishing, the entire layout uh, is being done in such a manner, uh, keeping in view the comfort to the passenger who will be using this train to maybe travel from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and long distances basically or from, uh, you know, Delhi to the northeast. So at least 30, 36 hours, they will be in the train. Right. So the overall comfort and the travel experience has been kept in mind apart from all the safety features and uh, as I said, our experience of uh, the metro train manufacture has been brought out in the Vande Bharat sleeper as well. Okay. Are the designs for this train ready when do you plan to start uh, manufacturing them? And uh, more importantly, they are seen as a replacement for the Rajdhani Express train for long journeys. So, uh, are there any world-class practices, features that you are hoping to bring to these trains to make them superior to Rajdhani Express trains? Designs, as far as the uh, external designs, uh, 
the nose cone, the colors and all is concerned, everything is finalized. Uh, the technical details uh, like the bogey, uh, the underframe, all those is finalized. Uh, we are now uh, very close to finalizing the design of the interior layouts and the uh, furnishings. Uh, we will be starting the manufacturing of the car body very shortly. Uh, within a period of uh, two weeks, I can say okay. that we will be starting with the underframe, the undercarriage uh, portion. And, uh, you know, singles out the Vande Bharat, what, what makes it uh, a class apart, the Rajdhani is, as I said, the Rajdhani are a push-pull train. They are right. LHB coaches, whereas these are very aerod aerodynamically designed. If you see the uh, shape of the nose cone, uh, it is uh, not only for speed, uh, uh, but also, you know, we are taking care of the Indian conditions like the cattle guard and all. They have been suitably designed, uh, keeping in view the experience of uh, the railways uh, in the AC chair car. Right. And the interior also, as I just mentioned, it will be uh, uh, at a different level than the Rajdhani. It is... Uh, uh, designed on very superior uh, trains uh, that run in uh, the foreign countries uh, that we many of the many of us indians have had the uh, chance to you know board or uh, have the experience of riding in them the overall travel experience the comfort level the jerks all those things will be taken care of mostly because of the difference in the designing, in the styling, and this being distributed control system or a propulsion driven system, fully electric, rather than a push-pull train, which has a locomotive at the front. Okay. And finally, for B and Will, are there any other railway projects that you are going to expand your presence in? Yes. Uh, you see, presently we are doing a rail grinding machine for the railways. Uh, it is the first time a rail grinding machine that is a track machine, which is being manufactured in the country. We have already rolled out five uh, rail grinding machines and the balance five also trains. Uh, basically, each rail grinding machine is having eight cars. So that will roll out by uh, December. We are also supplying the mainline electric multiple units to the railway. Uh, we are going to complete uh, this month itself, uh, right. the, the present order. Uh, apart from this, uh, we are looking at uh, expanding to uh, the other uh, level of track machines like you know the rail inspection vehicles and all. Uh, we are looking at uh, Vande Bharat, <coughs> since uh, the Vande Bharat uh, trains will be able to come out uh, with the first uh, sleeper version, much ahead of the other uh, rolling stock manufacturers. So, uh, this will give us a first mover advantage. Yes. And these 10 train sets may translate into more, it may be 20, it may be 50. Apart from this, the future uh, tenders which will come out for the Vande Bharat will be in a much better position to address those uh, orders as well. Apart from this, uh, uh, we are working on uh, <coughs> the AC EMUs. The AC EMUs uh, uh, for uh, the Mumbai suburban rail, uh, the AC EMUs for the mainline electric multiple unit. We are also gearing up to get into the aluminium uh, rolling stock manufacture. There is already a, a tender for 100 uh, sets of push pull <coughs> aluminium cars. Now, the push pull will also be just like a you know normally loco driven uh, train right. only difference is the <coughs> uh, entire styling will be uh, based on you know almost uh, uh, shape like vande bharat uh, like you know any train in europe or uh, the americas and uh, there also the passenger uh, travel experience will be of uh, uh, one of the major criteria for designing the train so these are our aspirations and with with that as i said we are looking at a railway opportunity portfolio of at least 70 to 75,000 crores in the coming 5 to 7 years.